I've learned that if I want to do something, I say it out loud. So I said out loud, I want to record at Abbey Road. I mean, Beatles, Elton John, Rolling Stones, there's just the ambiance of it. It's, it's just, you know, it's almost haunting. It's all about fire and ice, yin, yin and yang. You've got a call and response, a constant call and response between the strings, the horns, and it's just back and forth, back and forth. It's taking you through, am I good, am I bad, am I good or bad? And I made a conscious decision on each song. If I didn't convey that message, I didn't do my job as an artist. How do you get 240 tracks to be heard? You have to think about the frequencies. Is the cello going to interfere with the guitar? Okay, now that I've got that working, is there a little bit of crunch noise too much in the bass or the guitar that now I can't hear the arpeggiations because they're all important. I, I, I create these harmonies and these arpeggiations for a reason. I get the question all the time, how did you get um, Joe Satriani or Andy Timmons and some of the other people that I use? And it's comical, I called and asked. Now it helps when you're able to say, hey, uh, I'd really like you to do this project. It was recorded at, at, at Abbey Road. We've got the conductor from London Philharmonic. We've got the Royal Philharmonic. We've got the London Voices. We, I pretty much had them at Abbey Road. So when he does a track, wow. I mean, fine, do what you want, Joe. Totally different than what I thought he would do, yet it works. I mean, just brilliantly. So him and some of the other musicians really nailed it. Now you feel like, wow, the people from Abbey Road are telling me this is the most massive project we've worked on in years. This is fun. Okay, so I was just gonna say, at 59, it just came across beautifully right there. You yeah. had a call response between the choir and the French horn just coming right through answering them. So yeah, I, I've got no complaints. No, I think it was really good. I think it worked better actually making a bit more of it. So to get validation from an environment like Abbey Road, yeah, you're, you're on cloud nine for a little bit. Ultimately, honestly, I did it. I'm hoping the audience likes it, but as long as selfish as it sounds, as long as I like it, Job well done, move on.